Hi everybody, how's it going? It's Hardy with Fluke Parts. I'm going to show you how to fix your Fluke 87 display. But it's not just your Fluke 87, it's all the Fluke 80 series multimeters. That includes the Fluke 83, the Fluke 85, the Fluke 86, the Fluke 87, and the Fluke 88. The Fluke 87 was top of the line when it was released. It's more accurate, has more features, like the backlight, which is missing. If you notice here, there's no backlight button, but it doesn't matter because they're almost identical inside. Let's take a look. The first thing you want to do is you want to turn your meter over. You need a Phillips screwdriver. Remove these three screws. Step number one, remove the screws. Step number two, separate the casing. Now this is going to be a little tricky. What you want to do is you want to hold the back bottom case and you want to lift up on the bottom of the meter from the top case. This ring, this protective seal, this dust seal should stay on the bottom case. If you start lifting up on this and the ring comes off, you got some problems. But don't blame me, you're doing this at your own risk. I've taken the top case off, that's all I've done, I haven't done anything else. Be cautious of this soft keypad button here. Keep an eye on this thing, don't lose it. And don't forget to put it back in when you're putting this thing back together. What I like to do is keep it with the top case, keep it in there so I don't forget. You're going to have a 9 volt battery, remove that. This is going to have a little battery cable with a 9 volt battery connected. It's going to be tucked in right here. Just remove that 9 volt battery. And uh, uh, there's some missing fuses here. Don't worry about those. You don't need to remove those. Once you've removed the battery, this uh, should just lift right on up. Just pick it up by the input connector. Just lift it up like so. There you go. Now you've got the main PCB. Now I want you to be careful when you're dealing with electronics. Typically you should be discharged. You should be using an ESD strap. If we're doing it on workbench, uh, I'm okay. I've already discharged. So we're good to go. So now we're going to take a look at this LCD top face mask. We need to get this little part off here. This is the LCD face plate. Now, in the instructions I provide for free, it says to use a little screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, to pry this apart. You may or may not need that. If you have a little bit of uh, fingernail here and you're comfortable enough with your meter and you know how to do it just right, you can apply a little pressure and just kind of pry it open with with your fingers. No special to tools needed. No special tools required. And so see here folks what we're looking at is the glass LCD with old pink elastomer connectors. You see these old pink elastomeric connectors? Those are the problem. That is what will make your LCD go bad. These parts are already bad. They've been pressed down for so many years, they've lost their bounce. Eventually you're going to run into the same problem. But if you want to do the right thing, buy some new elastomeric connectors that come along with our display repair kit. Go to displayrepairkit.com. The display kit that comes with new gray elastomeric connectors. If you're buying new pink elastomeric connectors, you're buying old stock it's just not gonna be right you wanna get some new gray elastomer connectors because that's the new style the material the polymer is newer the connectors are more flexible and they're uh, less prone to fail for the next uh, 20 years that's why we give ours a uh, a 90 day warranty because we know they won't fail in 20 years so you want to buy our kits that come with the new gray elastomeric connectors. These are the old pink ones. You want to throw these out. You want to throw these out? 
after you get our new gray ones in the mail. Stand by, I'll show you what those look like. These are the new gray elastomeric connectors that come in our kits. This is exactly what you need to fix your LCD problem. This is assuming that your LCD is not cracked or broken. If it's cracked or broken, you got problems because they don't make these LCDs any longer. They're out of production. All the new old stack has dried up. And good luck because it's very, very hard to find the LCDs. Once you order our kits and you get the new gray elastomeric connectors in the mail, there's really not much else required to do other than insert the new elastomers into your meter, into these slots. Now when you're replacing the LCD, pay very close attention to how you put it back in. You want to make sure you don't put it on upside down. Generally speaking, you can see how the elastomeric connectors connect. Right now this LCD is upside down. You're going to want the short edge row of connectors on the bottom. The longer on top, now you know. That's one indicator to, to know that you've put your LCD in properly, right side up, and not upside down and backwards. If you're still not sure, hold up the front of the LCD and look at the reflection and some kind of light and you'll see some kind of uh, you'll see some indicators on there you'll see some digits and some markings that will indicate the correct positioning of the, the LCD quick tip short end on the bottom long end on the top these are just uh, the little sections that the elastomeric connectors connect to to the glass okay all right I want to point something out there was no additional cleaning required the instructions mention to clean the bottom part of this uh, PCB board that's not necessary and uh, depending on whether or not you want to take that chance, it's up to you because this top bracket here that holds the LCD uh, has these little tabs on the back section. Right here, you can see some, uh, some little tabs here on the side that snap, snap this top shield into place. The reason I haven't mentioned that in this video and the reason I don't recommend doing that is because you don't want to risk damaging this top case. It's very easy to snap those off if you're not careful. So it's probably best just to leave it alone, not touch them, don't worry about doing any kind of cleaning. Just remove the old pink elastomers, insert the new gray elastomers, Put your LCD back in, put the LCD mask back on, it, and be careful folks. This is going to snap over your LCD. You want to be careful with that as well. You want to apply kind of evenly pressure on the top and the bottom until you're certain it is snapped back into place securely, both sides, top and bottom. What's the LCD mask? It's secure. You know, you want to make sure you, you're putting your fuses back in. If you've had those removed, and you want to make sure you put your, uh, you, know, you just want to make sure you have your fuses. Don't worry about putting the battery in until after you've put your PCB in. Just put your PCB back into the bottom case, okay? Just put it back in there, nice and easy. There's no screws holding this in, so it's fine. Insert your 9 volt battery. Okay, so what's missing out of this picture are still the fuses. You should have your, your two fuses here. It's one here and one here. Okay, and your 9 volt battery, right? So now you come over here to your top case. 
And don't forget you're going to have your button, your soft keys uh, button here. Don't forget that. Don't lose it. Don't forget it. Uh, just put this back over like so. It should fall right back into place. And just uh, give it some nice pressure on the edges. You'll hear it snap back on the top. On the top section here, it snaps back on. Okay? Everything else is good to go. Everything else is good to go. You may want to turn on your meter and verify that the LCDs are working properly. Replace your uh, three screws. Well, replace your three screws if you're comfortable that you've fixed the job. Now this is a real Fluke 87. You see it's got the light here on the soft keypad. It's got the special feature of the backlight. The verify to see if your multimeter is going to function properly now with a nice clean bright display. Simply turn your meter on. You should see all the digits light up. You should see all the digits light up just like that. There shouldn't be any missing segments. You see that? One more time. There we go. So this is uh, some quick free information to steer you in the right direction and get your meters back up and running. If you're going to have problems with your Fluke 87 or if you'd like to pick up this display kit and take care of your meter for the next 20 plus years, go to DisplayRepairKit.com. That's DisplayRepairKit.com. Order the Fluke 80 series display repair kit. The Fluke 83, the 85, and the 87 are all the same part numbers. Select your model, order it online, it ships out within 24 hours. You get it quickly. Standard delivery takes roughly two to three business days and it'll be the best 20 bucks you spent to fix your old faithful fluke multimeter display please leave comments give me a thumbs up if you like the video let me know how i can better serve you with your fluke meter needs contact us anytime if you need fluke parts fluke instructions advice help with your testing needs calibration we do it all until next time thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.